What's up everybody? Josh Armijo here. I hope everybody's doing good well and stuff. I got an Arsenal inventory update to do for you guys. CDs and tapes this time. And this is a collection update that I had no idea I was even going to be doing. Uh, it's a pretty interesting story and I'm going to tell it to you in the best way I possibly can. Um, yeah. I got a package from a very good dear friend of mine by the name of Mark Riddick. Now, if you're not too familiar with who Mark Riddick is, he is one of the most well-known, well-respected, appreciated, iconic people to represent the Metal Underground in many, many different facets. You may know him best for his works in music with projects such as Feeded Zombie, Macabre, uh, Grave Wax, Unburied, uh, plenty of projects to name a few. Um, but most people would know Mark Riddick for his work as an artist and an illustrator, creating incredible paintings, drawings, album covers. I mean, he's worked with a who's who of bands that represent metal in all sorts of facets, whether it be underground or commercial. He's worked with bands such as Arsis, The Black Dahlia Murder, Carnifex, Lividity, Nunslaughter, Imprecation. The list is on and goes on and on such an incredible artist and even his work is being recognized outside of metal which is insane that people are getting to know something someone as great as Mark Riddick but anywho Macabre put out a brand new release in 2016 entitled To The Bone and to my knowledge I was going to be getting somewhat of a care package regarding that album and I had full-on plans to do a full review of that but I got way more than I anticipated and I and I got some things that I really was not expecting to get and that just shows you the generosity and kindness of a person like Mark Riddick to just throw in a bunch of really great stuff but um, here's what's gonna go down I'm gonna talk to you about the new Macabre release entitled to the bone but I'm also going to show you the other things that he sent me too, which blows my mind that I even have but anyway I'll talk about To The Bone first. Anywho, yeah, this is the brand new Macabre release entitled To The Bone. Uh, it's a co-release between both Mor Morbid Visions, which is the label I believe that is run by Mark Riddick, and Ron Frost Records. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Macabre play a very morbid, very dark style of death metal. There's a little bit of a tyrannical theme going on when it comes to the overall themes and lyrical content and concepts of the record, but it makes for some incredibly intriguing and very worthwhile death metal. It's comprised of only two people, um, Mark Riddick doing pretty much the bulk of the instrumentation and uh, Adrian Weber on vocals. You of course know Adrian Weber best for his work as um, Lord Genocide in Vociferian. This is a project that he has been doing with Mark Riddick for many years now. Um, they put out an album in 20, 2012 called Blood Nurtured Na Nature, which was just an incredible release in its own right. But with To The Bone, things get much, much better and much more darker from there. The vocal performance that Adrian Weber delivers on this album is absolutely phenomenal. Very rough, very rugged, very, very well structured. I love his vocal delivery. Very manic, very powerful. I love his vocal presence here. As far as the music goes, I think it's extremely solid. There are plenty and plenty of great musical moments to be heard on here. Great riffs, great bass tones, good drum programming, I believe. It, it all sounds great, and it makes for another really intriguing and awesome release within Mark Riddick's well-storied musical discography. Uh, I think this is a really awesome release to listen to. It's definitely a blast and definitely a step up from Blood Nurtured Nature. Um, songs like Death Speculation, Oppression Delegation, uh, royalties of Mur royalties on murder, which is an incredible song. Some great lyrics on there. Uh, crucified individuals, nation. Some incredible songs to be heard on here. But um, this album got put out through three different sorts of formats, and I'll show you each of the formats that were given to me, graciously enough by Mr. Mark Riddick. This is, of course, the standard CD jewel case version. Uh, the artwork was done by Dan Seagrave, which is a very cool thing to know that he would do something so nice for. For, for this album cover. It's it's all in green, but I think it, it really does fit the concept of this release. You have the back of the case with uh, the track listing in full, Morbid Visions and Von Frost Records, total support to both those labels. Nice little layout here. You have a white Pro CDR. You have the inlay with uh, the 
lyrics and additional artwork. Very cool layout design here. Very, very nicely done. You have, of course, the, men, the, ben, the main members in question, Mark Riddick and uh, Adrian Weber. Lyrical content and artwork. Very, very cool release. But um, there are... I was given two additional versions of this record, which I think are very, 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 very badass, and definitely suit a project like this very well. This is, of course, the cassette tape edition of Von Frost Records and Morbid Visions Records. You have the side here with side A and side, side one, side two. Comes on a very, very nice clear green tinted pro tape. Side A, side B, side one, side two, I should say. Uh, gotta show you the layout again real quick here. Very professionally done here. Very nicely done. Same as the usual release. Uh, band members in question and credits. Artwork. Very awesome release. The tape quality is very, very solid. Very professionally done. This isn't just a tape being done for tape's sake. It sounds good too. And this version of To The Bone that I'm about to show you next is probably the coolest one of the bunch. And uh, I would say it's definitely something to get for, the, uh, for anybody who happens to be a collector kind of person. And we have this version of... Uh... Hold on a second. That stuff slipping out left and right here. Okay. As we were. Yeah. This is the other CD edition of uh, To The Bone by Macabre. Uh, kind of a art card sort of deal here. You have the front cover here. You have the back cover. Uh, very, very cool sort of packaging going on here. You have these different sorts of art cards. Same length of credits. You have more emphasis done on the artwork, which I think is very, very cool. Good photography here, lyrical content, and of course you have a different color scheme for the CD. The Jewel Case version has a white CD, this is a black CD, Pro CDR. A nice artwork around the edges of, the, of this case here, which is very, very cool. And uh, it does come in a cool little, uh, it, it does come in a protective slip case, so that way you don't lose place with anything for something like this, but uh, yeah. These are definitely, definitely worth purchasing in any sort of format. Um, yeah, To The Bone is such a badass and killer release, and I really, really enjoyed this a lot. Also got some other cool little goodies as far as To The Bone is concerned, like these neat little promo cards. This other one, all green. And I got a couple of massive posters of the artwork in question. I have one currently taped to my door, but I'm probably going to keep this one hidden away safe and sound. Yeah, very big poster, very nice quality, very, very awesome. But yeah, To The Bone, I would have to say is a massive step up for Macabre as far as their music is concerned. Um, yeah, definitely a fun death metal release worthwhile, definitely worth owning. But uh, yeah, like I said in the beginning, I got some stuff in the package that I had no idea I was even going to be getting. I had no idea that any of this stuff came with it. I was not expecting it, and I am seriously eternally appreciative to Mark Riddick for doing this for me. First off, we have this little stack of art cards. It's an art card set. Of course, this is Riddick Art, which is the professional sort of pseudonym for Mark Riddick, the art of Mark Riddick since 1991. Uh, this is a hand-numbered deal. My copy is number 86 out of 100. And yeah, very cool artwork cards, very nice high quality, high end stuff. I really like this one a lot. Um, there's definitely lots of stuff. There's, there's artwork on both sides of each of these sort of things. Uh, if you want to keep them or maybe possibly frame them or something like that. I think this is really, really badass. Definitely something for the artwork collector fiend in you. Very high quality stuff here. Yeah, I can fuck with this big time. I love this shit. I mentioned uh, one of Mark Riddick's musical projects earlier with uh, Feeded Zombie. I got a couple of recent splits that he put out. I believe that he put out three different splits this year, and I have two of them that uh, came out on CD format. Uh, first is a split that was released through his uh, label Morbid Visions. Uh, this is the split between Feeded Zombie and um, Dispelment. 
uh, entitled uh, Summoning the Pestis. It's a four track split. You got two tracks apiece from both bands. Uh, Dispelment is from Virginia. I believe, I believe Mark Riddick is based out of Virginia. This Dispelment project is also based out of Virginia. Has, has a bit of a black metal thing going for it. I think the two tracks that Dispelment do with, with this side of the split sound really good. Uh, long ago and Summoned. And then the Feeded Zombie tracks work out very well too. Lure of the Occult and Insidious Pestis. Really, really terrific stuff. Uh, comes in a digi-file sort of digi-pack. You have Dispelment credits. Feeded, zom feeded Zombie with credits. Um, Pro CDR. And a lyric sheet for both bands. Very, very awesome stuff. I would definitely look into giving a band like Dispelman a shot. Uh, they put out an album in 2015 called uh, Atone, if I'm not mistaken. Really solid stuff. Definitely a band to be looking out for, but this is a really cool split. And we have another split that has Feeded Zombie attached to it. Uh, this is the split between Feeded Zombie and uh, Hellripper, uh, entitled Prophecies of Ruin. Uh, this is a release on Iron Goat Commando. Yeah. Pretty much business as usual for Feeded Zombie. Uh, you got four tracks from each each respective artist. Um, Hell Ripper is a one-person project based out of Scotland, I want to say, and it has a little bit of a black and speed metal ethic going for it, as far as the music and the sounds are concerned, as far as the lyric themes and all together. It just sounds really badass. I mean, what can I say about Feeded Zombie that hasn't already been said before? Feeded Zombie is just a blast. Really, really solid death metal going on here. Uh, I really enjoy this release a lot. Um, <clears throat> like in the quality on this fold-out booklet here, uh, you have the uh, the main people in question. You have Mark Riddick right there. Uh, James McBain, the main man behind Hell Ripper. Opposite side with lyrics and credits. Prophecies of Hate, of Ruin. Terrific, terrific split. Uh, going back to the split with... Um, uh, with a feeded zombie. I want to say there's a bunch of guest artist work being done on here. You have vocals from the band Swamp and Rude being involved in this, and they do some really, really solid stuff on the first couple of songs on, on the two tracks that are on that, the Dispelment split, but yeah. Two really solid feeded zombie splits worth sinking your, your teeth into. And I got a bunch of really cool tapes to show you here too. This is going to conclude the video with the, these two tapes. Uh, first off, we have something from Macabre entitled Necro Overdose. Uh, yeah, Morbid Visions. Uh, this is a compilation release. I believe this has material from the first Macabre release, the uh, the split releases, uh, cassette only releases, just some really solid stuff. Uh, once again, Mark Riddick and Adrian Weber doing some really awesome stuff here. Very cool layout here, very professionally done. Two band members in question credits the whole uh, macabre discography in front of you right here. Very badass opposite side of the J card. Yeah, this is so, so cool. I love this a lot. And the tape itself is a joy to look at. And it's and also sounds great too. Yeah. This is a clear pro tape with green glitter on it. Side one, side two. This is so badass. I love how this looks, and it is very, very fitting for a project like this. Very good quality tape here with uh, Necro Overdose by Macabre. Very cool. And the last tape I'm going to show you is something I had no idea even existed. I even had to do some digging up to look on it. I honestly don't know if this is even out yet, officially, but this was in the package that Mark Riddick sent me, and I feel it necessary to speak to you guys about it. This is the brand new Feeded Zombie release entitled Epicedia. Yeah, Epicedia, that's how I'm going to say it. Uh, yeah. It's only four tracks, but it has a very Death Doom sort of vibe going for it in the riff work, in the audible bass tones, in the vocal work, the drum style. It sounds like a Feeded Zombie record, but you can tell that there's a lot of a lot of neat twists and turns to be found on it. It's only four tracks long. Uh, Lord Beneath, Devour the Virtuous, Devour the Innocent, and uh, If the Dead Could Speak. 
absolutely sensational stuff. I mean, Mark Riddick does handle a lot of stuff here, but he does also have people involved from other different bands and projects as far as, like, vocal work, solo work. Um, yeah, really awesome. The people who are involved in the, um, on the, on the Dispelment Splitter on here as well, um, once again, you have, uh, you have, uh, Lord Genocide, Goat Holocaust, Nun Slut Goat, excuse me. Um, you got some guest bassists, guest vocalists all over the place. It's really, really cool. But let me show you the layout right quick. Main side of the layout here. Got the picture of Mark Riddick looking fucking badass. Credits and information as to who's involved in this particular Feeded Zombie project. Artwork is very badass, and you have on the opposite side some more nice artwork, Memento Mori right there, and you have lyrics for all of the tracks in question here. Very, very well executed stuff here. I really enjoy these. Uh, I enjoy the song structures. I enjoy the lyrics. Every single song is worth listening to, and this is probably some of the best feeded zombie material you'll hear yet. And the tape is very cool to look at, too. Uh, I mainly like what uh, they did with this particular tape here. The tape sound audio quality is very mint. I love it. And I like that they put the artwork in the middle of the cassette tape. As you, as it, as you probably would look to, a, to, a, to other sorts of tapes. I've never, I don't really see stuff like this too much too often. You have the Feeded Zombie logo right in the middle. One and two. Three and four. Chrome tinted pro tape. Sound quality is excellent. I love how this sounds. It is a great, great tape release. I'm pretty sure it's going to get a CD release also, but uh, when this comes out, I highly, highly suggest that you give it a shot and listen to it. I think it is very, very awesome. So yeah, this is the new Feeded Zombie release with uh, Epicedia. Terrific. So uh, Mark Riddick, thank you so, so much for this stuff. I'm seriously forever in your, in your debt and gratitude for this. I really wasn't expecting all of this stuff. And it really does, it really makes me feel good that you did this for me. And uh, I will continue to support your, your great artwork and your great music as much as humanly possible. And I honestly think that all of you guys who are subscribed to me should give Mark Riddick's music a shot and go listen to it. A lot of the stuff that's on his web store is really, very, very well priced. I would highly recommend that you get into buying it, buy the CDs, buy the tapes. I think it is, I think it is very worthwhile and very worth your time. So I will leave you links to some selected tracks from some of the projects I talked to you about here today. I will also link you to the Riddick Art web store where you can purchase music, artwork, shirts, CDs, tapes, whatever whatever he's got. He's got plenty of stuff, and I really think you should make help help his cause out and buy out some stuff. So support Mark Riddick, support Riddick Art, support Macabre, Feeded Zombie. Just support Mark Riddick. He's a good, good dude. I'm going to conclude this video. Have a great rest of your weekend. I'm gonna, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. Until next time, Armijo out.